Hi there. Welcome again to the World Change Fivefold Ministries with your host, Apostle Trishana or Changes 22. Ra! Yeah, get used to it. So, we're going to look at a few reasons why you might not be able to get a deliverance. What could be injuring our deliverance as Christians and as sinners, especially the saved? We're going to Mark 6, verse 5 to 6. And it and he could there do no mighty work, save that he laid his hands upon a few sick folks and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief. And he went round about the villages teaching. And he called unto him the twelve and began to send them forth by two and two and gave them power over unclean spirits in the mighty name of Jesus. So in that scripture, we want to honor God's holy word by saying thanks be to God. In that scripture, it tells us that Jesus was solely unable to perform miracles where he was from because they did not believe. So it is evident that faith is a key substance. Faith is a key substance. And it also proves that it is possible for miracles to be not performed or unable to be performed because of our belief system. But let's pray. Our Father, as we come before you today, we lift up your name on high. We give you thanks, we give you praise. As I repent, mighty God, we come before you. We ask, mighty God, that we decrease this morning so you can increase. We ask that you go before us and make the crooked path straight. We ask that you tear down principalities and powers around about us. We ask that you give us wisdom, mighty God. Give me the wisdom to teach your people and give them the wisdom to discern and listen and understand. Make them convicted. Make every single eye and ear that passes with you convicted, 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 convicted. In the name of Jesus, I send grace over us. Grace, grace, grace. That those who see us will bless us. We shall shine. Our stars shall shine. Our light shall shine. No hindrances, no whip, no spiders. Nothing shall hinder us in this season. But God shall be glorified. God, take the wheel. Increase so we can decrease. Dec let us decrease so you can increase. We invite the Holy Spirit always in our lives forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. that we need to know about this walk is that we're in a constant battle we're in a constant warfare there will not be a place there will not be a place where you will go where you can say yes i've reached and i've not encountered battle the lord will give you a season of rest but nonetheless he just allowing you to recuperate hibernate and come back to demonstrate his glory right now here's the thing because of this the enemy is like a roaring lion and he's going to seek we can devour. And because of this, we can't say that we'll be completely over our warfare. But we can say that deliverance from certain things at certain seasons, certain intervals, is definitely necessary like deliverance from poverty, deliverance from witchcraft, deliverance from certain things. But the enemy will always keep trying to come. Now what we need to understand is what could cause us to not get a deliverance? What could hinder our breakthrough? What could hinder our breakthrough and the good things, the promises of God and the word of God from bearing fruit in our lives? So let's just delve into some and of course, please leave your comment below if you have any that I missed because I'm just doing this offhand as the Holy Spirit lead me and I will be elatedly glad to see what you have to say. Comment down below. Please remember to subscribe, like and share this video in the name of Jesus. So the first thing that can hinder you is warfare. Warfare. People could set up altars against your deliverance. Now this is so evident. People could want you to fail so badly. The devil could send people to fight your breakthrough. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
This could be evident that you're doing the right things. And whilst you do the right things, you don't see the result that is expected or others are seeing. The next thing that could be hindering your warfare is your own self-sabotage. Self-sabotage. Self-sabotage means that you are not taking to liking the things of the spirit and taking them serious enough to make discipline yourself to make results be evident in your life. You are taking it too lightly, so you self-sabotage. By lack of knowledge, doth my people perish. This could be like you hear some testimony, you hear some prophecy, you hear you hear revelation, you get dreamed, but you're saying, sure, you don't really believe in them something that sure. I don't really think that so, blah 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 and because of this you do not because of this you do not go forward and you do not prosper the next thing could be the devil himself could be fighting the person the devil could be so afraid of your breakthrough he could be so afraid of your next level he could be so afraid of what you're about to do in god's kingdom he make it his point of duty to set up roadblocks though he know he will not win you he set up roadblocks in this you just have to keep up fervent in prayer you just have to keep fervent the, the evidence of this is that is you look to the left you look to the right not south east and west is a warfare it means that the devil is so afraid of your breakthrough he's trying to stop it but he will not be stopped he will not be stopped he will not be stopped up. but what you have to do is keep in God's presence keep in God's presence keep in God's presence do not let a day pass and you don't do the things of God for your destiny prosperity and salvation sake in the mighty name of Jesus the next sign could be you don't have enough faith faith is the evidence is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen you don't see the breakthrough yet you don't see the move of God yet but you hear God's word and by faith you act upon it like it is already yours it is written in Mark 6 5 you will see that Jesus himself the son of God the one who raised Lazarus from the dead was unable to perform a miracle where he was from and this is solely because the people did not believe they lacked faith and where faith is not present miracles will not be birthed it takes faith to perform a miracle and it takes faith to receive a miracle in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare and declare, I declare and declare in the name of Jesus that we will have faith to heal and the faith to be healed. The faith in everything that we do. I decree faith greater than Shadrach, Mishkan, and Abednego. Faith like Daniel and the lion's den. Faith like David. Faith like Abraham. Faith like Moses. We have faith like Esther. Faith in all era. Faith like Anna. Faith like Ruth. We have faith, 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 faith in all eras of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ and of Nazareth. Okay, the next thing that could hinder us is affliction. Affliction from the adversary. You could be going through affliction that is wearing you out. You're growing tired of the many warfare. You're growing so tired. So what the enemy uses is a tactic. tactic of tiresome he uses it to draw you weary so when he sends a battle the real battle the battle that will get you in your season the battle that will get you in your breakthrough the battle that will get you to overcome when you when when these battles come you are so tired you rather to go to sleep than pray you you read the word and you drop asleep you feel like you can't bother your body feel tired your spirit man feel tired but in this season you have to make a, a, a strategic when you notice this thing, you make strategy to pray because it is written. Prayer renews our strength. Prayer renews our strength. Fasting breaks stubborn problem. So you have to do this thing and you can't go into neither without reading the word. So we have to make it our strategic plan. Whether you want to team up with people, whether you want to team up with a church. There are so many platforms online who are doing these things. Praying at, 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 at certain times per day. You can join one of them, subscribe. And when they go pray, you go pray with them. You can fight for your destiny in such a way. Oh God Almighty. But I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that every arrow the enemy sent to tire us, every arrow the enemy sent to tire us, we will overcome. We will not be defeated. We will not fall into tiredness. We will not be put to sleep. We will not be put to sleep. We will not fall into tiresome. We will not be put to sleep. We will not fall into tiredness. In the name of Jesus, I decree in the name of Jesus, as I speak to the north, the south, the east, and the west, we will not fall asleep. We will not be put to tiredness. We will not be put to tiresome. We will not grow weary. We will pray and we will renew our strength. We decree and declare the strength of Samson of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the next thing that could hinder our deliverance is the people we entertain mm. 
The people in your circle plays a vital role with what comes into your life and what goes out of your life. Some of the time, the people around you have open doors or they are the open doors. And when they come into your life, they either detract or attract. They either decrease or increase your blessings and the good things of God. You have to know that when you're walking with God, you can't do as the sinners do. You might love your brother, your sister, your mother, your husband. But if they're not right right now, you have to stay close to God for God to instruct you. Is this person right to come into my life? Because the devil might just send him to come spend a holiday with you. Right when you're about to get a breakthrough. Because the amount of something they did down the country. They lie, they cheat, they perform witchcraft, they adulter, they did adulterous act, fornication. And the devil know that the spirits are coming with them. And he's just sending them to overload you. So they, they take from you. And number one, these people might not believe in your walk. And when they don't believe in you, they suck your energy. They suck your, your, your anointing. They take from you. Mm. The enemy might use themselves, the, the sinners, to curse you, to argue with you, the spirit of Ammon to put curse upon, upon the individual. So be careful who comes around you in your season of breakthrough. You have to be mindful of this. This could cause bad cycle because if the enemy knows it worked one time, he's going to try it a second time. You have to pray, God, is it the right time to entertain such people? Oh, great big God, we know nothing. We know nothing, oh God. We ask that you let us invite the right people at the right time and not the wrong people. We ask that you remove the wrong people from our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree the wrong people shift, 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 shift. We decree the wrong people shift. You have to join in prayer. We decree the wrong people shift out of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, for the right people to come. The people that is going to bring us into your calling, your salvation, our purpose, our destiny, our destiny help us. Oh God, whatever is fighting our destiny help us, we command it to lose them. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody say amen. The next thing that could hinder us is that the enemy might turn on the heat and our destiny help us. The persons who are ordained to bring us to the next level, they are under severe attack. That is why they haven't showed up yet. That is why they haven't located to us yet. That is why uh, they promise you something and not come to pass. As they promise that the enemy attack them. As they promise that the enemy, oh great big God, we come before your mighty God to protect our destiny, help us, God. Mm. Ha. As we repent, you better pray this prayer for know what is good for your destiny and your salvation. Oh, great big God, we put our destiny helpers before you, oh, great big God. And we decree the enemy will not seek them like wheat. We decree the death of our destiny help us, help us overcome every warfare coming against them so that they can locate us and do what you created them to do in our lives. They will locate us in this season. Come on, somebody by faith. I grab onto my destiny helper and I pull them into me right now. I decree my destiny helpers located me and they will do uh, what they start to do in our lives. Uh, they will do what you ordain them to do. Uh, I ever devil fighting them after lose them in this season. And last but not least, uh, the devil might have tampered with your idea, your vision as you sleep. Uh, the reason why sometimes we can't remember our dreams and our vision is because the enemy tries to steal it as we sleep. Uh, he comes and he literally pull it out. Uh, come on, somebody, this is so serious. You got an idea God gave you divine ideas that you can't remember it. You had an idea last week and by this week you feel like you know what with you can't but are wait next year or another right time or whatever. The devil is a liar and there's no truth in him. Come on, let's stand in agreement right now. I say everywhere the enemy touch your head. Ha. I try to tamper with our destiny, our purpose, trying to steal from us in any wise, uh, trying to take our blessing, trying to steal our dream, uh, our ideas, our vision, uh, our imagination, uh, our creativity, uh, our memory, uh, our vision, our sight, uh, our discernment. Uh, oh, great big God Almighty, uh, as we reach into the seventh dimension, uh, as we reach into the third heavens, uh, we call upon supernatural victory, power, strength, uh, and endurance and dominion uh, over the adversary. And we ask, mighty God Almighty, that you restore us uh, the joy of our salvation. Seven falls. Uh, whatever I decree and I declare, come on, decree and declare. Uh, I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus. Uh, whatever the enemy has stolen from me uh, that is hindering my destiny, that is hindering my deliverance, that is hindering my purpose, that is hindering my breakthrough, I command it released up unto me uh, in the mighty name uh, of Jesus Christ. Oh, of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Now those are a few things that the enemy might use. Mm. 
to try to end our breakthrough. If you do have any more, feel free to leave it in the comment down below. I'll be elated to know how God bless you. Oh, great big God, as we close, we say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thine kingdom come, thine will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of forever and ever amen amen and amen and uh, please remember to subscribe please remember to pray for me i i i, I decree and i declare that those who are there will pray for me in the mighty name of jesus please remember to subscribe don't just listen subscribe the aim is 1k followers and after that we're going higher and higher help me grow god help those who have themselves and god love a cheerful giver please if you feel like you want to bless this ministry the information will be down below do not let lord, the lord put it on your heart and you reject it because uh, the God is a foolish thing to confirm the wise and he knows why. If it's not put on your own, no worries. See you next week. Alright? Shalom. Them cast the first, but the world they never tell me no me pass the worst. And now Jesus met me do it and me heart immersed. Jesus wants to know if you know, don't go hell and go burn. Start lifting him, you know.